solar panel on my truck on the Silverado here. And I ran a wire up to the front, up to here. And I picked up a charge controller that didn't show me any voltage, so I didn't really like it. But it will work out on the trailer, which is right there. So I bought one with a gauge. I'm going to put it under the hood, and I'm going to do it with you. Welcome to Life with Bill So I'm your host, freaking Bill So. What we end up getting here, I end up getting this little charge controller here, which is just for solar panels, no wind turbines or nothing like that. So it's got your... Uh, friggin' wind's going to cock the solar panel. Jim. So it's got your solar panel, battery, and lamp light. So you can put an accessory lamp light on it or whatnot, and this and that and the other freaking thing, but we're not going to do that. So what I need is a little screwdriver. I'll be right back. Just so you know, this is a 50 watt panel I'm putting in on the truck here. What you want to do first of all is you got to connect the battery first to the charge controller. That's your first move. Careful! So make sure when you're hooking up your charge controller, you always put an inline fuse to the battery just in case anything f***s up. You don't want to get all cocked over and get things just dickered. Yeah, I'm going to move you down because that wind is going to cock my video right over. How's that? Is that better? You're looking up at me. How the hell are you doing, bud? So we'll put the ground one in first. We'll give it another little turny turny. We'll loosen her up and we'll stick her in the hole, Cap. Now i got to make sure it goes in the hole, right, Jim? Oh, she's tight. Oh, yeah. She's too tight. Frick, she doesn't want to be doubled up. I guess we're singling. We're going to do a single, single jab. So we'll jab that in there like this. And we'll tighten her up, Cap. There we go. There's one. Do the same with the positive side. Here's two. Oh, these screws are f***ing just dead. So we got a top of the line freaking charge controller here, obviously. Right I'm hooking up the charge controller for that panel. It was not the right way, Captain. So this is ground, babe, and this is positive. Babe? Do you really care? No. Why not? So there's the ground. The ground's on. So now we'll positive side it up. We'll hit it with some positive juice. There we go. So we got positive and negative hooked up, fuses on. So as you can see, we got 12.3 volts off the battery right now, which is all right. So now we'll hook up the solar panels. Captain, hook up the old solar panels. Now I should put this in the truck because it's not friggin' waterproof, but for right now, she's min. So now what we want to do is want to plug the solar panel back in, which is on quick release system. <gasps> so you can't cock her over. Can you see it? Probably not. Have a look. Boom, hey, boom, there we go. So now we should see something else happening. We see that charge. Look at that, she's transferring. As you can see, solar panel making power. Don't know how much power, but she's making power. How the f do you shut that thing off? What's really going on? Decent. So as you can see, this means the panel is actually hitting the battery with juice, Bruce. So it's working. Detects it, sees the battery. 12.3 volts up here. Let's see what's inside the truck. 12.4 volts, so it's basically the same, eh? But if you ever want to put a little off-grid system in your truck, now my trailer's plugged in and stuff, she'll be decent. See, I got this battery and that battery over there. So we're good to friggin' go. We got solar charging system on the Silverado. So hopefully you enjoy this. It's just a little video. This doesn't take long at all to do. It's just a shorty, but it's fucking decent. It's neat when we do shit like this together. Wait till we do that thing and start ripping the front end of that off. <laughs> Boys, girls, peoples. That thing's gonna be able to pull my trailer like it's not even behind it. So if I ever wanna take the van to the drag strip, I can pull the trailer, unhook her, and people say, you can't pull the trailer with that. And I'll say, friggin' right it can. It's got a bigger engine than the Silverado. Friggin' right it does. Cause the Silverado's a 4.8. But hopefully you enjoyed this little video. Just a little update on the solar system on the old Chevy Silverado. And a little update video on, I'm not just talking, things are actually happening. Friggin' right there, but I gotta pull that whole front end off fenders and I'll get everything right out of my way on that van. As soon as I get the engine in hand, that's when that will start. Because the van's gonna have to spend a lot of time this winter in the driveway and not in the back garage like it normally is. Sorry, girl. Hey, sorry about that. You're gonna have to be up here with me. Friggin' right you are. Love you, why wouldn't I? But I love you guys and I'm glad you're here because this is gonna be awesome. Thanks for subscribing. Keep subscribing, keep sharing. Tell everybody who I am, this, that, and the other thing. I know my videos have been down a little bit lately, but hey, it's hard to get content all the time it is. Until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And you know what to do for now. Well, there we go. We just picked up ourselves a six liter and a 4L80 transmission, Jim. And it moves and runs. 189,000 kilometers on it. Oh yeah, we did.